The Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook is going to be the number one playbook in Madden 24, at least at launch. Now, Madden School just released the playbooks over on their website. I'll let, drop a link to that uh, in the description of this video. But I wanted to talk about why Cincinnati is going to be one of the best offensive playbooks in the game. And if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's a really good month to become a Patreon member because you're not only going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, of which we released over 25 different ebooks and updates, but you're also going to get access to all of our Madden 24 ebooks as soon as they launch and we actually did a beta ebook to kind of help people get ready for the game with some of the changes in the game so if you're not in the patreon yet the link is in the description it's only ten dollars to join and you're going to get 13 offensive and defensive ebooks for madden 24 within the first week the game launches to really help you kind of get on top of the meta and get on top of the best way to play the game so if you're not a member yet the link is in the description it's only 10 bucks and like i said it's going to get you access to everything we did last year and it's going to get you access to the first things that we do this year and of course as long as you're a member you'll get access to everything that we have over on the patreon page all right let's talk cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook the first things and first is this is why i believe this is going to be the number one playbook in the game if you take a look at this for uh, this uh playbook it's got the bunch offset now uh in the beta and from what i've heard across different uh twitter and just everything in the community you can block your tight end in bunch offset from uh, from from uh, any bunch offset in the game, you can't block your tight end in gun bunch uh, like you would out of like West Coast bunch, for example, unless you have a like a stock play that blocks a tight end. So that that reality alone puts the Cincinnati Bengals bunch ahead of a lot of different bunch formations because bunch offset is going to be the best way to be playing bunch next year because you can block your running back and you can block your tight end. The other thing that this has, and I wanna kinda of go through this, it has a couple of really, really critical plays that I think you need in order to have a really good bunch formation. The first thing is this play verticals half back under. It has the glitchy fade on the left side. It's got the standard verticals from bunch that we've seen year every year, but it's also got the sharp cutting in route from the running back that is going to help you be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. My prediction for Madden 24 is that verticals halfback under out of Cincinnati Bengals playbook is going to be a top five offensive play. Uh, it really is a very good play, especially this year, because you're going to see more people playing zone coverage than we saw in previous years. Then this also leads to my next point, which is another key play that I think you need in a good gun bunch. You need bench pivot or smash return. The reason you need bench pivot or smash return is because that angled route to the tight end is a great quick snap play because all you have to do is put the slot receiver on a streak or a fade. You're going to have an automatic three level flood on the bunch side with a backside dig and your running backs already blocking. And also this sharp cutting out route to the B receiver and the angled uh, the angled corner does a really good job of beating any kind of shaded down man coverage traditionally and also really any kind of man coverage in general. So this is a great little play. It also complements verticals really well and can still give you some great options against zone. The next play that I want to talk about, I also think this is really critical in any good gun bunch is something with a really good post route. Now, this could be mesh post, this could be double post. In this bunch, you've got PA dig fork that has a nice little vertical cutting S post that is gonna be really effective for being able to bomb coverages. You're literally going to be able to bomb every single coverage in Madden 24 with this play PA dig fork. It is that powerful. So it's a really, really good play for next year. You also have the counter, which we know the counter has been good over the years. You have smash return, one of the best man beating concepts in Madden year over year. You also have this play right here, uh, Speed Dig. Speed Dig was one of the uh, really, it was actually a PA read, I think, out of Indianapolis Colts playbook. Speed Dig has that same kind of crosser. And then it also has a speed in route that's gonna be really good against man. And you can also create a triangle concept with this play because you have the tight end on a little angled hitch. You have a crosser, a short, shallow crosser. It's going to do really good against zone. And then you could flat the B receiver to create a triangle read on the bunch side of the field. So it's got a really good bunch here. It's not the best bunch by any means, but it's one of the better bunches. And you have the play flood, which year over year has been one of the best plays in Madden. And sometimes this cross screen can be really, really glitchy. Now, the next formation that I want to talk about, and really the thing that makes Cincinnati's playbook special, is what you can do uh, with a gun bunch 
and gun bunch strong and gun tight socks half back weak and gun tight y off so what you have here in this bunch half back strong couple things i want to highlight bunch half back strong helps a lot because it glitches out match coverage you cannot run match coverage against this and bunch halfback strong actually thrives where the gun bunch offset struggles. And here's how. Um, number one, you have a play action play uh, with a deep post route and deep cross route. This is really effective for creating bomb concepts. From gun bunch, we had a post route to the right side. Now from bunch halfback strong, we have one of the best post routes in the game from the play wide trail. And it also has that really effective tight end trail route. You still have a great quick snap play and bench pivot and a really good inside zone out of this formation. The next formation that I wanna go over real quick is tight slots halfback week. This formation was the best formation in Madden 23. I would say that it was better than tight. It was better than tight offset. Tight offset could have given this a run for its money, but at the top, top levels in the game, tight slots halfback week and tight offset tight end were the two most powerful formations in the game. In Madden 24, tight slots is posed to be the number one formation. A couple reasons why. The best way to beat man coverage is post routes. The best way to beat zone coverage is corner routes. And the best way to bomb coverages is deep post routes. And really one of the best ways to attack the flats is through wheel routes. Gun tight slots half back week has all of those things within one formation. You have a deep skinny post from the play flood and a corner route. So you can create really good flood concepts with this form, with this play. You also will be able to create really, really good one play touchdown concepts out of the play flood and tight slots half back week. You also have mesh spot and post wheel drag. These two plays complement each other really, really well. And they're going to allow you to be able to run slant post or the shallow concept, which is one of my top five passing concepts in Madden. You, it will allow you to run this concept at a very, very high level and also be able to run it in multiple different ways, even without a route ability. You don't really even need a slot apprentice or a route ability to be able to run this offense at a very, very high level. So it's going to be very ability uh, empowering. You're not going to need a lot of abilities for this. You have great blocking from bunch and tight slots because you have the running back on one side, you have the tight end on the other side. And again, you also have uh, the seam wheel to the running back, which is really good. Uh, and then you also have this like slot wheel. But what's really cool is the play four verticals allows you to have two wheel routes that are very unique because they're a little flatter. They're gonna do a much better job of attacking man and zone. Uh, and so th this formation uh, really does have a lot going for it going into Madden 24. And then this playbook in general has some really cool, uh, what I would call constraint or alternate formations. One of those is this tight Y off, which I actually believe this formation is gonna be one of the better formations in Madden 24. Uh, I'm gonna be releasing a full ebook on this formation, but what's cool about it is you have that Piego slot cross, got play action blocking. It's also got a crosser that's gonna get over every zone jump in the game. You've got that S post from the play red zone scissors, which is great for bombing coverages. You also have uh, a play like switch wide receiver drag where you can flood the backside of the zone. And then you have flood drive with one of the most unique post routes in Madden that is good every single year. Cincinnati Bengals playbook has a lot going for it heading into Madden 24. We are going to be releasing a full offensive ebook on the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook the first week the game is out. More than likely it will be out by Madden 24 launch. So if you guys are not a Patreon member yet, it's only 10 bucks to become one. It's going to get you access to everything, all of the ebooks, all of the updates to the ebooks, and any new ebooks that we release while you are a member of the Patreon page. So to sign up, head down to the description and go click the link down below.